Hey guys, um, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to get the most out of your stream um, on iRacing, uh, particularly um, when streaming in uh, in VR. And um, we're going to be touching on how to get Twitch chat um, in uh, in VR so that you can uh, you can speak um, and respond to your uh, viewers um, and how to get the best um, quality video feed um, into uh, OBS as well as there are a number of different options that have their own little quirks and benefits and result in um, different quality um, uh, video uh, streams. So um, firstly we're going to be touching on how to get Twitch chat in VR. Now um, I've used a number of different overlays, uh, probably most of the different ones um, that are out there, uh, JRT, CAPS um, and most recently Race Labs um, and I found that by far uh, Race Labs is the um, easiest um, and best um, overlay um, software to, uh, to use especially when trying to get um, overlays in, in VR. Um, I've tried OVR Toolkit, OVR Drop, um, using CAPS um, and using JRT and um, Race Labs just um, is, uh, is better um, from a performance um, perspective and from an ease of use um, perspective um, as well. Now, um, I'm not going to be talking about how to um, set the overlays up from a general perspective. Race Labs cover that off themselves, um, but I will be talking about how to, uh, how to get them set up in, in VR and some of the other um, options that are able, available um, in VR that um, are not touched on um, necessarily um, in, uh, in other videos. So um, we're just going to start off by um, by looking um, at the Race Labs um, software package um, here. And um, this is the first screen that you'll see um, when you uh, when you come into Race Labs. Now, uh, one thing that's not immediately obvious um, when trying to use uh, Race Labs in VR is that what you need to do is head over to the FAQ section, click on how do I use overlays in VR, and install this software package, um, vc underscore redist.x64.exe. Um, without that, it won't work. Um, you'll be wasting your your time um, and when you first start this software it's not immediately obvious that was one of the problems I I had uh, but installing that uh, will, uh, will will give you the um, the, the, the package um, that you need in order to be able to uh, to get this to work um, so let's say we're going to want to use um, twitch chat um, head over to the chat overlays on the left click on twitch um, this is all configurable configurable information um, here which is kind of to your own um, liking um, and then um, you just put your um, Twitch channel in there to get your own Twitch chat um, to appear. Now, what you'll want to do firstly is to click on open in overlay mode. And what you'll see is that's just opened a screen in this top left hand corner um, for me, which is my Twitch chat. Now, it won't currently appear um, in VR. To get it to appear in VR, we'll need to click on this um, little um, headset icon, um, which will turn green. You'll notice that when you click on that, um, the chat box will go um, opaque. You can move this around, so I'll just put it somewhere where it's not going to impact um, the uh, any information that I want to uh, to see on stream. And then when we head on over to our um, iRacing view, you'll see that Twitch chat is showing in VR. Now, there's a number of different ways of getting your iRacing feed um, into OBS. Um, using OpenVR is one of them. Um, using the Windows Mixed Reality um, portal is another. Um, and I don't do that for the very reason of what you can see right now is that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, so let's see if we can get it working just to give that as an example. There we go. Um, so that's Windows Mixed Reality. And then you can use the iRacing um, mirror window. And as you can see here, the iRacing mirror window doesn't actually um, put the Twitch chat into your viewer's view, uh, which is a positive uh, because we don't want the duplication um, of your viewers being able to see Twitch chat twice, once in your overlay and once in your VR view. Um, however, there are benefits to not using the iRacing um, window as your input source, and we'll come on to that um, a little bit later. Now, I prefer to use OpenVR, and again, I'm going to talk through that as an option, but as you can see, what that means is that um, Twitch chat appears in, um, in my um, view um, and in my viewer's view permanently, which is not something that we, uh, that we want. So um, in order to change that, uh, the options that you've got are to head on over to your Race Labs um, file, which for me was in my Documents folder, Race Labs, and then you've got an Overlay Config file, which you can just open up in Notepad. Now, there's a number of different options on, on here. I'm not sure what all of them do. Um, the refresh rate by default is set to 30. 
I've changed it to one. I don't know if it's had any impact um, whatsoever, uh, but I certainly don't need my Twitch chat up uploading, updating 30 times um, a, a second. Now, the value or the, 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 the option that we're looking for um, is this one here. Um, so hide not looking, false. Um, and we're looking for it in the Twitch chat overlay um, area of this configuration file. But what we want to do is we want to set that to true. We want to set that to true so that when we're not looking um, at, the, uh, at the feed, it's not visible. So I've set that to true. If I just click Control S to save, you'll see that it's not made any difference whatsoever. The reason being is because there's a sensitivity setting um, as to um, at what point it will disappear when you're not looking at it, okay? And that's set by this value here. Now, um, I found that the, the best setting for me is 1.07. That seems to be the magic number. Uh, don't ask me why, but if we set that to 1.07, when we're just looking straight at the track, um, it's not visible. But if I just look up ever so slightly, it will appear. Now, that looks quite faint, uh, but when you're in VR um, and people have... Um, have kind of um, made comments, it's really visible. Um, you can try an all, all sorts of different options, 1.5, 1.01, um, say 1.01, as you can see, it's actually visible um, when we're not looking at it. Um, 1.2, a little bit um, fainter, 1.3, a little bit fainter. What I found for whatever reason is 1.8, it's just invisible. So uh, 1.7 um, was the perfect setting for me. Um, mileage mileage will vary, um, but uh, what that allows me to do is, is have those overlays using OpenVR as my uh, media source, um, and so that there's no duplication for the uh, for the viewer unless I'm looking at it, um, and which is um, invariably not that not not a huge amount of the time. So um, I don't really feel like it detracts from the um, from the from the um, from the stream. So that's how to get um, the overlay into VR. We can do the same for um, fuel. So I run, um, I run the Twitch chat and I run fuel um, in VR. Other than that, I use all the default um, in, in the all default overlays in iRacing. So if we were to do that, um, all we'd do is come back to the uh, Race Labs um, software, head on over to Race Overlays, click on Fuel Calculator, and um, again, open in overlay mode. We've already ticked this button here earlier on, so it's going to uh, open it in, um, in VR. Um, and if we just look up, there we go, it's permanently there. Again, I don't want that. I want it to be um, invisible when we're, when we're not looking at it. So heading back to the configuration file, looking for fuel calculator, and we're just gonna stick true in there. I'm gonna have it a little bit less sensitive because um, it's, uh, it's a little bit higher up. So maybe um, one point, zero will probably work quite fine um, if we look up there there we go so it just pops into view when we uh, when we look up um, so that's how to get um, that's how to get the uh, twitch chat in VR now we're just going to talk about some of the various source options um, as to uh, how to get your video um, in VR now the default that most people tend to use is to capture the iRacing um, window so what we've done there is we've got a window capture, we've got an iRacing um, mirror window selected as our input device um, or, or input source. Now, it's not immediately obvious when watching a still frame um, and because I'm recording a recording here, I'm not going to play any video because it will look um, choppy. Um, but by capturing the iRacing window, um, we end up with some weird aliasing um, issues which um, just make the edges glisten um, and um, the quality is just not quite there. Um, and if you're wanting to get a kind of a perfect stream, uh, we want to try and um, avoid that. Now, there is a way of avoiding that um, while still using the iRacing window as your source. And the way that you do that is you need to set the iRacing window to the same size as your native um, headset um, resolution based on my findings so um, the reverb which I run is uh, 2160 by 1080 okay now if I set the reverb window to that size um, which I'm going to do just now what it does you might not have been able to uh, to see that I'm just going to resize the uh, resize the window to an appropriate size um, there we go it's actually got rid of those aliasing um, 
issues on the edges. There's still a little bit, but the image is much, much smoother um, than, it, than it was previously. The downside to that is that um, some people find it very, very difficult to find the native headset resolution. It's not always the um, the advertised resolution that works. Um, and with people in the forums have been playing around trying to reposition and resize their window by one pixel at a time to find that resolution, that best resolution for them. Um, and they've still not been able to get there. Um, so for the reverb, it's 2160 by 1080, nice and easy. For other headsets, it's a different resolution and some people have found it impossible to find out what that resolution um, is. So it's really not an optimal way of doing things. Um, the other option um, is to use OpenVR as your OBS um, input um, source. So OpenVR is a separate software uh, package that you need to download or plug in for OBS. It's free, it's easy to download, easy to install. This is what I use. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why I use this one. Firstly, it doesn't matter what size I run my racing window app so um, I can run that whatever size suits me um, the best um, what I did find is that by making the iRacing window the same size as my um, headset resolution in order to use the iRacing window did actually have some performance issues um, I think iRacing staff have said that it shouldn't but um, it did so um, that's just my own personal finding so I use OpenVR a couple of benefits as I say, you don't have to resize the iRacing window or you can have it whatever size um, you want it to be. In addition to that, you can select which eye you want it to capture. So you can have it capture the left eye, which is what the iRacing window does, or you can have it capture the right eye. I prefer to capture the right eye. The reason being is this big A pillar takes up um, a large proportion of the screen um, under the iRacing window and under the default setting in OpenVR. But if we capture the right-hand side eye, it just pushes that a little bit over to the uh, to the left, um, which gives your um, viewers um, a bit of a better view. Um, we can choose different cropping settings. Um, there's presets for um, for different um, headsets. Um, I choose full 16 by 9. That works perfectly for the HP Reverb. Uh, mileage will vary with different headsets. Um, and as I say, what that gives us is a bit of a, a wider view um, for your uh, for your viewers. Um, so I use open. Um, I use open VR. Um, if you've got a Windows Mixed Reality headset, um, the final option is to use the Windows Mixed Reality scene. Again, this creates a really um, smooth image in terms of no aliasing um, issues. In fact, you could probably argue that it's a slightly better image in terms of um, smoothness. I think it maybe looks a little bit flat. The problem with it is it, it creates choppy video. Okay, so it is an option, but the actual video itself will be uh, will be choppy. So um, they're the options um, when using Windows Mixed Reality. If you're on an Oculus headset. Um, might be a little bit different. Um, sorry that I can't comment um, on that. But by far, the best settings that I have found is to use um, OpenVR. You, have, you then have OpenVR as a source as opposed to capturing a window and you can select which um, you, you've got more configurable um, options. So hopefully uh, that's been somewhat um, useful. Um, as I say, if you want to check out how my stream looks, um, please head on over to Mr. Underscore Bingham. Um, Bingham spelled B-I-N-G-H-A-M um, on uh, on Twitch. Uh, drop me a follow um, if uh, if you can. Uh, be most helpful. And uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, on track. Thanks.